Do you have toys that you'd like to take camping? Well, then you need a toy hauler. But I'll tell you, when this arrived at the workshop, I wouldn't want to be camping anywhere near this because of the gas installation. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. This toy hauler is totally awesome. Just about the whole thing is made out of aluminium, even the chassis. Now, it's got a rooftop tent to sleep in, it's got a, a bat wing awning, it's got water tanks, it's got max tracks mounted on the front. It's got uh, rooms for your motorbikes and, your, and all your, your stuff that you want to take along with you. Um, and there's just about lockers everywhere, but the only thing that really let it down was the gas installation. So the gas main uh, more or less consisted of all these flexible hoses that ran throughout, you know, inside the trailer, inside all these lockers and everything, hooking up the hot water system and the hot plate. This regulator was like down on, like laying in this position, down on the drawer bar, you know, connecting up his, his bottles and everything. Um, even the hot water system, I'll show you here. Here, that was, um, that was all, the gas and everything was connected in here as well. And as you can see up the top there, I don't know if you can, there's a, like a solar vent right up the top here. And you can see that's all, all melted and stuff. So yeah, I mean, could have, could have caused the fire, but the, the trouble is this um, hot water system was connected to the gas. Um, so you could even shut the door while the thing was working. And you know, imagine all those you know, flexible um, fittings and, and stuff. Any, any of it could have leaked into any of these lockers. We've got batteries and all the rest of the stuff in there as well. Same with the kitchen. Um, the hot plate here was also connected. Awesome kitchen this is too. Um, the hot plate was also um, connected so you could just pull it out and start using it. But again, you've got all these flexible um, joints uh, and with pipes all joined. So any one of them could have been leaking under in, inside the lockers, opening it up and you know, you've got your beautiful little hot plate here. So you could have anything leaking. You know, just shutting it up like this, pushing it all back, and there's a slight leak on one of the you know, flared joints or something, just fill the whole thing up. So yeah, very dangerous. So that's probably why he didn't get a compliance plate and uh, yeah, couldn't get it over the pits. Okay, so once we ripped out all the illegal hoses and stuff, I made up a new aluminium bracket, rock solid. Um, that, that's there to support the new uh, gas regulator, so you can hook up both bottles. We ran a new gas line all the way down to the back and installed three uh, gas bayonets, connected them all up. Now, wherever we can, instead of using these flared um, joints, we try and weld all the pipes together um, because, you know, if rocks and vibration and stuff, sometimes those flared joints can come loose a bit and start to leak, where it's, it's less of a chance of that happening when it's a welded joint. So we try and do that. And also, the welded joints, if you can get them on the jobs, um, not all the time you can, but if you can, they just look beautiful. So if you've got big kids with big toys, then you might have to get them off the deck before you start cooking. But since I've got little kids with little toys, I can leave them there. Still stacks of room on this toy hauler. I'll show you how easy it is to uh, hook up the, uh, the Weber barbecue uh, when Beautiful Plumbing does the, the gas work for it. Just open your barbecue up, flick open the uh, paddles on the side there. Just remove the dust plug here on your gas bayonet. Plug in your hose. Okay, now remember there's no gas that's going to come out of here, it's very safe even with the you know, dust plug out because it's got a quick release fitting. Now what I'll do is I'll just flick it around to the side so you can see me hooking it up. You can see under there, just put it through the ring, okay, pull that back, click it on and now she's, now she's connected up like that. Open her up, this is electronic ignition so you can just turn it on and woof, she'll light up and you can start cooking, get, get your sausages happen. Okay, so now for the hot plate and, and the kitchen. Um, it was very important that the hot plate was you know, connected without tools. It just makes it so much easier. You don't want to be stuffing around with spanners and that when you're camping, you know, enough to do. So the only thing I was really worried about is when you slide the kitchen out, um, what if they hook the gas up and then slide it back without you know, forgetting that they had the gas connected and that fitting gets a bit of a knock or snaps it off and causes a leak or you're out in the middle of whoop whoop and there's no way to repair it. So that's the last thing I wanted to happen. So that's when I came up with a what I call the safety flap. Okay, I'll just show you how easy it is to uh, hook up the hot plate without tools when you're out in the road. So just grab your, uh, your gas hose, okay? Open her up. Down here, you got your dust plug um, that you're gonna take out of your bayonet. Pop your gas bayonet, um, the hose in. Remember, there's gonna be no gas coming out of this, even with the dust plug removed, because it's a quick connect fitting. Now, I've installed the quick connect fitting underneath this safety flap, as I call it. So all that needs to be is pulled down. It's just a magnetic, so it just goes like that. Pulls down, drops down, and then you can whack it on like that, okay? So now the hot plate is connected to gas, ready to, ready to use. Now the reason that safety flap hangs down that way is then, as you can see, if they start pushing the kitchen closed, 
that safety flap will hit and they'll go they'll realize hey something's going on but it's not touching the hose you know it's not going to damage that and then all they've got to do is unplug it whack it up and then they can keep going and shut the kitchen okay so the other gas bayonet that we installed is just down here and this is for the future hot water system we're going to have to sort something out there so it's not dangerous but at least there's no gas connected to it at the moment so this has been a really um yeah great great uh, trailer to work on it's been um, it's been great solving all these problems and i think he's going to have a great time out there because uh yeah we've sort of reduced the pain points and made the trailer a whole lot safer so we've got a large workshop now many years ago I worked as a plumber at a company called Haitian Shipyards over in Holland. Now they build these luxury aluminium super yachts. Now it was there I was taught how to TIG weld because I had to make up brackets sometimes where there weren't, weren't any you know, support for these pipes that I was putting in. So it's very easy for me to fabricate you know, brackets to hold bayonets or water connectors or something for your, for your caravan or camper to protect them from branches, bushes or just to su support them. I don't know why, sometimes I just find it hard to concentrate. So if you, like me, live in the best city in Australia and you would like an extra gas bayonet put in your caravan or you think there might be a gas leak or you just need the gas um, certified on your camper or caravan or even thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind having a little hot water system plumbed in or even an extra water tank, give Beautiful Plumbing a call. We'll be happy to help. Hey, thanks for watching.